Black Pigeon Speaks has a history of plagiarism. Western culture or Western civilization is characterized by a host of artistic, philosophical, literary, and legal themes and traditions. The heritage of Greek, Roman, Germanic, Celtic, Slavic, and other ethnic and linguistic groups, as well as the Roman Catholic and Orthodox churches, which played an important part in shaping Western civilization since at least the 4th century, and the teachings of Jesus, such as the parable of the Good Samaritan, are among the most important sources for modern notions of human rights and the welfare measures commonly provided by governments in the West. Unwin's impetus for the project was to test the Freudian theory that civilizational progress was the product of repressed sexuality. He found that discipline in sexual matters appropriated social energy to more civilizational ends. It's very complicated, but for Unwin, the fabric of society was primarily sexual, and heterosexual monogamy was the optimal arrangement for the planning, building, protecting, and nurturing of the family. If enough heterosexual partners made a monogamous commitment, civilizational energy was directed toward promoting the finest societal foundation possible. First of all, what is a foundation myth and what functions does it provide a society? Well, first, it comports and provides an origin, framework and superstructure for a society and how it interacts with the world and itself. Second, it defines what is the ultimate good and conversely, ultimate evil for the reasons of defining values and from those to justify who holds power and third it determines and defines what is held sacred in a society for the modern west from australia to the u.s and back to the old continent at least the countries that were not subsumed by the soviet union the narrative of the second world war has become our new foundation myth and if you think about it the reason is it fulfills all three functions he has now more or less outdone his previous shenanigans in that he has uploaded a video which is an almost beat-for-beat -beat copy of a video he has previously uploaded, a video which was, by the by, plagiarized. So, let's take a second to appreciate this. His Patreon is set to a per-video basis. He uploads a video that was plagiarized. He deletes that video. Months later, he re-records that exact video with all of the plagiarism still present. Except this time, he adds some cosmetic changes about how California is actually a third world country because of the Black Plague or something. So what he has done is he's re-released something that his patrons have already paid for but with minor cosmetic changes. People are literally paying for the exact same content that he has already provided. Anyway, here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the video. Since the change in U.S. immigration policies in the 1960s, the population of California has ballooned from 16 to 39 million people, with almost all of that growth due to immigration. Much of it domestic, but the majority coming from abroad. The welfare state presents three main problems. First, it incentivizes poverty by rewarding the poor with government handouts. Handouts that are, at times, more lucrative and more valuable than what could be obtained by employment. Second, welfare states are expensive. Expensive. This means, this means higher, higher taxes and therefore, and therefore slower, slower economic, economic growth and fewer, and fewer job, job opportunities, opportunities for everyone. For everyone. Finally, Finally, like Sweden, like, like Germany, Germany, like the UK, like the, UK, like the Netherlands, Netherlands, California, California as, a as a welfare state is a magnet for the poor. For the poor. Whether and through it doesn't domestic matter migration where these or foreign people come immigration, from. whether through domestic migration or foreign immigration, benefit. And, and this, this is, is the primary reason why socialism and open borders, borders are, are fundamentally, fundamentally incompatible, incompatible no matter where they're tried. Sales, sales taxes tax are inherently regressive and, and make life more difficult more for those that can those least, that least afford, it, afford it, the working class. class. The article he stole from to make up the contents of this video was written by Spencer P. Morrison, titled California's Paradox, More Immigration, More Poverty. Here is his most recent video and the sections of the article he stole from. Since the change in the U.S. immigration policies in the 1960s, the population of California has exploded from 16 to 39 million people, with almost all of that growth due to immigration, much of it domestic, but the majority coming from abroad. Now, none of this is to disparage any legal immigration 
as it is a fact of life, but it would be mindless to believe that an influx on a scale like this, biblical in fact, wouldn't have any influence on the economy or the culture of California. In fact, immigrants vote Democrat at a ratio higher than two to one, which means that for Republicans to have any chance at winning elections, they must water down core positions and move to the new political center, which is moved left or basically never get elected. California became a solid blue state, not because the people of California somehow evolved into socialists, but because millions of people who vote socialist arrived and made it so. So let me put this into perspective. Now, the welfare state presents three main problems. First, it incentivizes poverty by rewarding the poor with government handouts, handouts that are often far more valuable in terms of real money than they would be able to obtain via employment. Second, welfare states are expensive. This means higher taxes and therefore slower economic growth and fewer job opportunities for everyone. Finally, like Sweden, like Germany, like the UK, like the Netherlands, California as a welfare state is a magnet for the poor. And it doesn't matter where these people come from, whether through domestic migration or foreign immigration, poor people will flock to places with generous welfare benefits. Of course, this makes sense for those that seek these welfare handouts, but it makes absolutely none from the point of view of the taxpayer. And this is the primary reason why socialism and open borders are fundamentally incompatible no matter where they're tried. As to the only substantive claim that he makes, which is that California has fallen to third world status because of a few bubonic plague cases, well, he even got that wrong. His words. And even more disturbing is news that exotic, long since vanquished medieval diseases are now re-emerging in California. Like typhus, the bubonic plague, yes, the black death, has most likely surfaced in the fecal matter covered streets of the Eureka State. The bubonic plague has not been vanquished. It still occurs in regions everywhere, with sporadic cases occurring all over western United States, in Republican white heavy states, as well as Democratic mixed states. It has never reached pandemic level because modern antibiotics effectively ensure few outbreaks and even fewer deaths. It is not an extinct disease, and the presence of sick people does not denote a state as having a third world status. California is a wealthier state than several European countries combined. They are not third world. Every video Black Pigeon Speaks ever uploads has the same theme. Immigration, bad. Muslim, bad. White, good. SJWs, bad. If there isn't an NPC meme for Black Pigeon Speaks, there should be. If he didn't plagiarize for ideas, he'd have no ideas at all. Not exactly a big thinker there, but hey, it's YouTube. I guess nobody cares about selling stolen goods. For a state that used to have the largest and most affluent middle class in the US, but now has all but devolved into a playground for the rich and an open holding pen for the masses of poor and working poor. California used to have the largest and most affluent middle class in the United States, but it has all but disappeared, and the state is devolving into a playground for the super rich and an open holding pen for the poor. California used to have the largest and most affluent middle class in the United States, and it has all but devolved into a playground for the rich and an open holding pen for the poor. First, it incentivizes poverty by rewarding the poor with government handouts. It incentivizes poverty by rewarding the poor with government handouts. Accentuate poverty in that state as it incentivizes poverty by rewarding the poor with government handouts. Welfare, welfare states, states are also are very expensive, expensive. This, this means, means higher, higher taxes, taxes and, and therefore, therefore slower economic growth, growth and, and fewer, and job, fewer opportunities jobs opportunities for everyone. For everyone. As well, finally, like Sweden, like, finally, like Germany, like, Germany, like, like Germany, the UK, like the, UK, the UK, like the Netherlands, California, California as a welfare, as a welfare state, state is a magnet for the whether through domestic migration or migration. And it doesn't matter immigration, where these people come from, whether through domestic migration or foreign immigration. Shut up! Who 
cares about Derek Zoolander anyway? The man has only one look for Christ's sake. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. 